This video provides an overview of Lucid Shape CAA V5 based. The topics covered are design, material, simulation, analysis, and visualization. Let us begin with the design capabilities. One of the fundamental principles of Lucid Shape CAA design is the functional geometry in short FunGeo. With FunGeo, the user can directly enter a light target position, or a light spread, and the algorithm automatically calculates the correct reflector or lens surface to distribute the light accordingly. The macro focal tool utilizes the FunGeo principle. In this example, a low beam reflector consisting of multiple facets is designed. Each facet, numbered 2 to 5, has specific spread parameters which result in an individual light distribution with a cut-off line. The superposition of all facet contributions results in the complete low beam light distribution. This is an example of an LED reflector headlamp design. We begin with the macro focal reflector design, then integrate the reflector surface into the complete model, and at the end, create a visualization. The next example shows a dual function tail light with a P21 5 watts light bulb. The specialty of this design is the round reflector, which still produces a rectangular light distribution in the far field. The visualization capabilities are particularly useful for the analysis of the lit appearance of signal lamps. This example illustrates the flexibility of the macro focal tool. Here, a D-shaped freeform lens, consisting of four different facets, is designed to provide a low beam light distribution. Another tool for the automatic creation of optical surfaces is the freeform designer, in short FFD. In addition to simple light position and light spread commands, FFD can utilize user-provided intensity distributions as input data. Within certain limitations, the algorithm can then shape the optical surface automatically to produce a target light distribution which comes close to the provided input distribution. In this example, a high beam reflector is designed by providing four predefined light distributions as input to the freeform designer. FFD then adjusted the facets automatically to produce the desired high beam intensity distribution. The next feature using the FunGeo principle is the procedural surface tool, in short PS. PS surfaces are created by lining up focal curves along profiles and then extruding the profiles along spine curves. This PS example depicts a typical faceted reflector design for a halogen lamp. The focal curves controlling the light spread are arranged along circular and parabolic profiles. The second example of a PS reflector design features a typical lighting fixture for a signal lamp. These types of faceted reflectors are quite common in automotive taillights. This example of a PS lens design shows a typical use case of a pillow lens optic in a signal lamp. The polycurve system, in short PCS, also uses the FunGeo principle. The PCS tool arranges focal curves radially around an optical axis, similar to the ribs of an umbrella. The surface is then created between the ribs, similar to the skin of the umbrella. A typical PCS application is the reflector of a projector-type headlamp. This PCS example illustrates how a projector-type headlamp can be created 
using a polyellipsoid reflector and an aspheric lens. The Light Guide Design Tool creates light guides with optimized light extractors, providing uniform lit appearance and light direction control. A typical application for such light guides are signal lamps, such as turn indicators or daytime running lights. The Light Guide Design Tool utilizes a feedback loop optimizer. It offers combined optimization for uniformity and light direction. The red graphs indicate how the light extraction becomes considerably more even after optimization. We now come to the materials section. Lucid Shape CAA supports a variety of surface scattering formats. A bidirectional scattering distribution function, in short BSDF, can be expressed as a data set of scattering probabilities, dependent on the incident angle. A BSDF consists of two parts, a bidirectional reflection distribution function, with the acronym BRDF, for the reflected light, and a bidirectional transmission distribution function, with the acronym BTDF, for the transmitted light. The scattering inside a medium is described with a volume scattering model. Lucid Shape CAA provides four volume scattering models Isoradiant, Henny Greenstein, Gegenbauer, and me. The Smart Start Library is a module in Lucid Shape CAA which provides material data. The database contains over a thousand entries, consisting of data for surface scattering, refractive index, absorption, and volume scattering. The next chapter is about the light simulation capabilities. Lucid Shape CAA offers three light simulation modes. NURBS, MESH, and GPU Trace. The NURBS mode directly uses the NURBS surfaces for simulation, and therefore is the most precise simulation method. The mesh mode uses a triangle grid to approximate the surfaces. During simulation, triangles can be evaluated faster, increasing the speed of the simulation. However, this mode introduces an error by the approximation of curved surfaces. The third mode is GPU trace. It uses the same method as the mesh mode, but processes the simulation calculations also on the graphics card. The simulation speed decreases with the number of triangles in a scene. For this reason, the surfaces should be approximated with triangles as big as possible. However, the bigger the triangle the bigger the approximation error. Lucid Shape CAA offers a variable tessellation mode, where the size of the triangles for each surface can be set individually. In this example, the windows and sheet metal of the car use large triangles, whereas the optics of the headlamps use small triangles. The result is a fast, but precise simulation. Lucid Shape CAA handles the following simulation properties, light flux, spectral distribution, emission characteristic, ray files, reflection and refraction, surface scattering, volume scattering, and spectral absorption. A simulation configuration is a structure which helps greatly with the organization of simulation data. A configuration defines what takes part in a simulation. Configurations are stored with the model, so it is possible to look up under which conditions a simulation was performed. It is possible to create multiple configurations and have them simulated sequentially. As old results can stay with the configuration, a version history can be established. The analysis chapter outlines methods how to visualize, investigate and test simulation data. The standard format to display light distribution data is a false color plot with ISO lines. An intensity map can then be transformed into a driver view or bird's eye view. 
Lucid Shape CAA, offers a database with over 500 test tables for automotive regulations. These test tables can be applied to any intensity plot. The results are displayed in a table, clearly indicating which test points failed. The test points can also be displayed inside the intensity map. For the near-field analysis, two types of illumination sensors are available. The rectangular plane sensor produces an illumination map with a typical grid and coordinate system. The surface sensor produces illumination maps directly on the freeform surface of the lamp. A third method to analyze the near field is the usage of preview rays. These rays are ray-traced light paths displayed inside the geometry. For the luminance analysis, for example lit appearance, a luminance camera is available. The luminance camera sensor can be positioned in space like a real camera and can produce luminance views from a specific perspective. Utilizing the panorama feature, different viewing perspectives can be linked together, allowing for an interactive, immersive navigation through the views. For the spectral analysis, true color displays with a great variety of luminance tone mappers is available. Furthermore, a color data analysis tool will provide detailed color parameters for each pixel of an image. The ray history sensor can trace rays from the light distribution map back to the source in the geometry. It is a great tool for the identification of stray light or hot spots. The advanced analysis tool provides a wide range of tools for the analysis of automotive lighting. For example, freeform cross-sections can be created through any type of map. Another feature of the advanced analysis tool is the automated analysis chain. Here, a sequence of measurement tasks can be defined and stored as a configuration for later use. When the configuration is applied to a new light distribution, it produces a result table with immediate feedback whether the individual criteria have passed or failed. One more application example for the advanced analysis tool is the luminance analysis. For example, a zone measurement task can measure the minimum, maximum, mean and median luminance. The final chapter of this presentation covers the Visualize module. The Visualize module is the photorealistic simulation feature of Lucid Shape CAA. The photorealistic simulation capabilities are a great help for virtual prototyping, lit appearance analysis and marketing related activities. The Visualize module consists of four main features. The backward ray tracing mode, the backward luminance camera, the environment light source and the human eye vision image tool. The human eye vision image tool provides a sophisticated luminance tone mapping algorithm. It performs the dynamic compression of the luminance values into the tone range of a regular sRGB monitor. Another feature of the human eye vision image tool is the glare post-processing. Multiple scientific glare algorithms are available. In this example, the holiday glare algorithm was applied. In the following slides, multiple photorealistic luminance images of a headlamp project are presented. This first image shows an LED headlamp with an activated daytime running light consisting of an elongated edge light with a lenticular surface. This simulation shows the headlamp integrated into the car body. Both the daytime running light and the turn indicator are activated. In this side view, we can see the details of the side turn indicator of the integrated headlamp. The light bulb filament appears elongated by the flutes of the side marker. The 45 degree view of the entire car demonstrates the capability of the Visualize module to accurately reproduce the different surface textures of the various materials. 
This photorealistic simulation depicts a motorcycle taillight in a sunset scenario. This luminance image shows the same motorcycle taillight, but in a night scenario. Both images were processed with the Human Eye Vision Image tool, utilizing the same taillight preset. We hope you liked this brief overview of the main features of Lucid Shape CAA. More information can be found on our website.